So I'm Marc Tessier. I'm currently a postdoctoral researcher at Salon University. This project ACAM is the, is the human-like webcam. And I made this project because, because like, we are surrounded by sensing devices. Like we are surrounded by, by Alexa, by, by surveillance cameras in the streets. And, and the issue with that is that we, those, those devices are constantly looking at us. They are constantly listening to us. But we don't know that because they are hidden, they are blending into our everyday lives and they are almost invisible. So the result of that is that we stop questioning the way they look, the way they, they sense and the way they act. And the issue I had with that is that we forget about the implication of the presence of the devices on our behavior. And we forget about the, the potential risks of of privacy and the risk of, of hiding those devices. And something really interesting uh, is that now with, with the, the video call that we are always doing, we are, we are constantly looked by a webcam. And the webcam is in front of us, looking at, at us. But it, during face-to-face -face communication, when you talk to someone, when you talk to the human, you have the, the eyes. The eyes are really expressive. And it's convey a lot of, of nonverbal uh, emotions and of, of like, yeah, facial expression. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to bring back those nonverbal cues, all the expressiveness of the eye into a webcam. And so that's why I built this device. So this device, ACAM, it's a webcam that looks like a human eye. It can look around. It can blink, it can move its eyebrows, and it also visually is really close to a human eyes. And with that, I wanted really to, to be transparent in the way the, the webcam is seeing us. ACAM is what we call a speculative design prototype. So the goal of the device is to spark speculation on, on the devices, uh, aestheticisms, and function. And so, it's a, it's a research prototype to open up the debate and it's not made to be, to be commercially available. However, I made all the sources open source. I, so I open source all the hardware so that people can replicate it, can build one, can extend it, improve it eventually, and can also try to, to have this device looking at us. Because having, like even for me, I'm, I'm quite surprised that having this device in front of me, it changed my way I behave towards webcams. Key components, uh, the 3D printed, some 3D printed parts, some mechanical parts, so some tiny screws and, and rods, and some electronics with the motors and, and, and Raspberry Pi. So the, the, the webcam run on the Raspberry Pi, the Pi Zero. And there is only six servo motors that you can buy like everywhere. And the 3D printed parts that are available. And the, the most tricky part, I will say, it's to do the, the realistic, the flesh, you know, the, 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 the skin. And so how I did the skin is that over the 3D printed part, you can, you can sculpt with some, some, um, some sculpting material, you can sculpt the, the, the eye, the, the eye shape, and then you have to cast that into silicone. So I use silicone to make the, um, to make the skin and the flesh. And that's something quite commonly used in the movie FX industry. And they are using this kind of material to make that. I put quite a lot of effort on the eyeball. So it's a 3D printed shell. And I put a uh, colored pupil that I printed. And over, over that, I used some nail polish, transparent nail polish, and some really tiny red uh, wool, wool uh, thread and wool yarn that I put to replicate the, the tiny blood vessel we have in the eye. So it's re really DIY, really, really simple, simple to do. Behind the eye, there, there is, there is a, a brain. So I, I, I call that brain, it's not really a brain, it's some advanced computer vision algorithm that can eventually track and follow the user so they can follow your face and always look at you or they can 
or the, the, the yeah, they can look at objects, they can look behind. And also what is interesting is that uh, I implemented several behaviors. So sometimes the eye can look bored. Sometimes the eye can look curious and gaze around and be distracted. Or sometimes it can be sleepy and close its eyelids. And something quite interesting that I, I, I found while developing. So I was, I was working on the, the code that uh, is supposed to so I was working on the, the part where the eye is tracking the user and I inverted the axis. And the result was the, the webcam was always trying to avoid the user. And so that's something I, I found, like that was a bug in the code, but that was so intense. I, I felt so mad after my webcam because it was not looking at me. And that's something that, that surprised me. And so I made this device really to, to, to critique the states of technology. And also I want to highlight that we are losing the connection with real humans. And that's also something I want to do. So it's a bit of a dystopian futures. Uh, what it means to have, to need a webcam that looks human. It needs that we need, we need more like face-to-face -face communication, I think. The devices are great for many things, but they are missing the humanness. And so I want to, to, to bring back the human onto the machine and onto the devices.